Hello everybody, so long time no see again. <laughs> I'm really sorry I haven't made a video in so long, it's been like about a month I think. Um, but if you're on my Facebook you'll know why, um, I haven't been doing any videos lately. So basically my partner and I moved into our own house about 10 days ago. And um, so it's just been really hectic, like moving all of our stuff over here and moving the gerbils and Norman and the rabbits. And yes, it just took up a lot of our time. So I wasn't bit, I wasn't able to film anything. Um, yeah, those glass tanks, uh, the gerbils glass tanks were so heavy to pick over, well, to carry over here. Um, it took a lot of effort. <laughs> but luckily it's all sorted now and we're settling in uh, we're just doing a lot of decorating at the moment and a lot of unpacking um, a lot of my things are still in boxes in a spare bedroom so yes it's just been hectic over here um so if you're on my facebook well i already said that but if you are on my facebook um you'll know that i was able to dedicate um one of the bedrooms as a pet room as I'm calling it at the moment. Um, so basically the gerbils and Norman have their own room now and I'm actually sitting in it at the moment. Um, I'm not gonna do a tour of it in this video. I'm actually gonna do a separate video after this one um, and show you what it looks like. But you can kind of see the boxes over there and there's one of the tanks. But yes, just a little sneak peek. Um, but I thought I'd do a haul video at the moment um, I made a order from Viovet. I know a lot of people have been ordering from Viovet at the moment just because they're so cheap for their small animal products. Um, I have ordered from Viovet um, quite a few times over the past five years I'd say um, to get like pet, pet medication um, for one of my dogs but I haven't actually made an order for um, to buy like small animal things from them so yes yeah, sorry like my train of thought just went off on one then <laughs> so yeah I bought a few things for the gerbils Norman and the rabbits um, just some nice new things to settle them in into their new home and yes so I'll just crack on with the haul now so the parcel was really well packaged it had a ton of bubble wrap in it um, it came in I think it was about three days which was pretty good um, I did get free postage just because I spent over £29 and um, if you spend over £29 you get free PMP and I spent £38 and 2p and um, so I'm just going to dip in and show you what I bought um, so the first thing I got were these board and breakers naturals snap and share vegetable bars um, I've actually never seen these in the shops before they did they do stock um, a wide range of the board and breakers naturals products and they were really cheap as well and um, they're a lot cheaper than what you can buy them in the shop so these are just a delicious crisp treat bar is designed to be divided and offered to your pets as you choose it's free of cereals, so can be loaded instead with vegetables, herbs and tasty seeds. Adored by rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas and other small rodents. Um, so these are going to go to the gerbils and Norman. They love like herby, like dried herby stuff. So yeah, it's just basically, it looks like almost like the shape of a chocolate bar and you just snap the individual pieces off. Um, so that was that. I'll just tell you the prices of the things as well. That was £1.56. Next thing I bought was one of these little seagrass, well not little, but quite big seagrass balls. Um, it's just, it's by Board and Breakers again. And it's their seagrass fun ball and it's the large one. And it's 100% natural and there's no glue or staples in there. And it said it's suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs and ferrets. So it's quite a large large ball. Um, the rabbits have got one at the moment, but they've almost destroyed it. So I thought I'd pick up another one 
and what I usually do is kind of stuff it with hay and treats inside there as well. So yeah, that was that. Um, the price of that was... Um, it was £1.52 for the seagrass ball, so I think that's a really good price because usually they're about £3 in the shops. So yes, the next thing I bought was some of the Burgess XL apple snacks. Um, I'm sure you've all seen these before. My rabbits absolutely adore these. I haven't bought them in quite a while and I thought I'd pick up some. Um, and they're basically just dried apple and I think they have some herbs in there as well. Yeah, thyme and parsley. So yeah, that was that. And they were... Where are they? Uh, £1.48. Yeah, £1.48. So that's a really good price again. Um, I think in pets at home, they're about £2.50. Next item I got was um, also from Burgess XL, and that's their Country Garden Herbs. Um, and it's just dried herbs. You get dandelion, milk thistle, plantain, chicory, mint, marigold, cornflower, jelly, and Jerusalem artichokes. So, yeah. I've bought this many times before and the rabbits adore it and the gerbils really like it as well. So yeah, that was that. And the price of that was... Where are you? Uh, £1.44. So yeah, a really good price again. Usually I buy that for about £2.50 from the shops. So yes. Um, the next thing I bought... Um, with these Vita Treats Harvest Feast, a delish, delicious tasty treat. Um, they had quite a few different treats from this range, which I've never heard of before. Um, I saw in Stephanie's pet care video, um, she bought a few things from the Vita Treats range. Um, so I thought I'd give them a go. It didn't really say, it didn't have like a lot of information on the website about what the pet what the pets <laughs> what the treats were and i just look at the ingredients there's quite a lot of e numbers in there which kind of scares me mm. um there's wheat carrot calcium carbonate some flour oil and red beet so yeah it just says it's a complimentary feed suitable for all small animals so um yeah they kind of look like the Wilkinson's um, like crunchy sticks. I'm not too sure what the proper name of them are. But yeah, they're quite flat. Um, and I'll probably just give them to the gerbils and maybe a tiny bit for Norman. But definitely not the rabbits, I don't think. I'm kind of scared by um, the E numbers, really. But oh well, they can have like a bad treat once in a while usually i just give them kind of natural treats most of the time so i'm sure a little bit of this won't harm them so yeah that was that and they were small animal treats 73p next thing i bought were the board and breakers naturals um i did order quite a few things from that range and um, just because the prices were so cheap um, and these are the dandelion and nettle roots which I've never had before. I thought they looked really interesting. Um, it says most animals get to chew on nutritious roots in the wild, but our pets don't often get this opportunity. The solution is our carefully harvest and dry dandelion and nettle roots, naturally rich in vitamins and minerals and great for helping to wear grown teeth. Recommended for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas and doggies. Um, I reckon my gerbils will love these. Um, they love any sort of twigs like apple sticks hazel sticks and roots as well and i really like dry dandelions so i'm probably going to give quite a bit of this to the gerbils and the rabbits as well and maybe norman so yeah that was that and they were one pound 33 next thing was also by um, border breakers naturals you can kind of see a theme going on now um, and it's the fenugreek crunches and this has got to be like one of my rabbits favorite treats and um, i don't get them quite off that often because 
they're not really readily available in the shops around by me so I only usually get them um, when I make an order online but yeah they're just made out of fenugreek and they really really enjoy them and um, the gerbils also really like them as well so yeah it's quite a big pack you get 200 grams in there and they were where are you one pound 72 um, the next thing I got were these rodent mini sticks which I've never seen in the shops before and they're just a smaller little treat stick because usually they're about twice the size of these but I thought they were really cute and what are the ingredients um, it just says size is everything and if you don't want your little furries overindulging then these mini sticks are ideal hard baked and full of wonderful ingredients including cheese and all 100 percent of course 100 percent of course 100 percent natural of course um perfectly sized for all hamsters mice rats and gerbils and i'll just look at the ingredients what do you get in them um cereals seeds vegetables nuts egg and egg products milk and dairy products um, so these are probably going to go to Norman because of him being a dwarf hammy and um, I think they're just a nice size for him really and they've got the little clip at the top which won't come in use really because he's in a zoo zone but yes that was that and they were how much were they £1.13 so a really good price again um, the next thing I bought were some of these Nor sticks from the Vitacraft, Vitacraft? Why did I say that? The Vitatreat range. Um, it just says nature's natural toothbrush. And it says it's a complimentary feed suitable for all small animals. And the ingredients are hazel, willow and apple sticks. Um, yes, they're just basically hazel and apple and willow sticks. There's not much really to say about them, but I thought that I think they were a really good price. Usually they're quite expensive. Um, where are they? Yeah, they were 94p for that bag, which I thought was really good actually. You get quite a lot. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sticks in there. Um, the next thing I got was just some of the Supreme Science Selective rat pellets and this is just the food that I mix in with the gerbils. They really enjoy them. Um, even though it says it's for rats, um, it's fine to give to gerbils as like an extra treat and something different um, for them to eat. So yeah, it just hits, it helps maintain healthy skin and coats, zero added sugar, rich in natural ingredients, and it prevents selective feeding. So basically it's like the hamster pellets that you can buy from that range. Um, it's just the rat version. Unfortunately they don't do a gerbil version so it's kind of the next best thing really. And they were... Where are you? £1.55 which is a really good price again i keep saying that but yeah usually that's about three to four pound in my local pet shop um next thing i bought was some more gerbil food it's just the burgess super gerbil gerbil granola and um, it says it's super gerbilicious complete food mix and i basically mix this with um the what's it called the jerry gerbil and um, yes, I thought I just needed another bag really. Um, again, this isn't readily available around by me. Um, I think only one shop a few miles away sells it. So I thought I'd put a bag of that into my basket while I was doing this order. Um, and that was £2.74. So I'm on to the last couple of things. Um, the next thing is by Board and Breaker again. And it's this really super cute um, owl made out of corn. And it's called Corn of the Owl. And it just looks like that. And I thought it was just too cute to um, not buy. So I think I'm going to give this to Norman. I think he'll re really like it. He loves chewing on things. 
and yes I've never seen it before in the shops um, yeah it says at the back he may be cute but all your pet all your pet will want to do is toss and chew this natural corn leaf owl rabbits especially love to throw and gnaw smaller lighter toys nibbling on corn leaf like hay also helps to wear growing teeth corny is made from natural corn leaf and edible papers as with many pet toys he's also made with a small amount of non-toxic pet safe glue so yeah even though it's saying that it's good for rabbits i think norman will really enjoy this so i'm going to put it in his cage and i think it will just make his cage look even cuter um, so yeah, that was that, and it was corny, corny, corny. Where are you, corny? Ah, there we go. One pound thirty-two. So, a bit of a bargain, really, for such cuteness. <laughs> and then the very last thing is for the rabbits, and it's a Kong Zoom Groom. Um, even though it says it's for cats, this is fine for rabbits. Um, I've heard, well, I've seen really good reviews on the Kong Zoom Groom on like rabbit forums saying that it's a really good brush to use on rabbits. And basically it's just like a silicon rubber brush and it's got no sharp bits. Um, currently I'm using a slicker brush on them. Um, Speckle is molting like crazy at the moment. No matter how many times I brush him, there's just hair absolutely everywhere. So I thought I'd give one of these a go. And the slicker brush can be quite harsh on his skin sometimes. So I thought I'd buy one of these just because it's like completely made out of rubber and there's no sharp bits on the edge. And yes, I think it was about £4.50. I'll just have a look in a moment. But it says you can bathe, groom and massage your pet. So you can use them in the bath as well. Of course, I'm not going to use it in the bath um, on the rabbits and um, but for like my dogs maybe I think I'm gonna buy another one and um, because you can kind of massage the shampoo into their coat and um, so yes I might do a review on this when I've used it but it just looks really good I'll take it out of the packaging it looks like this it's just completely made out of rubber so yeah I think you can like brush them on this side and then this side is to like smooth their coat so yeah i'll just see what the price is um kong zoom groom four pound 27 so not that bad really for um a rabbit brush so that was everything that i ordered from via vet um i really recommend their website the prices are really good especially for the boredom breakers naturals products um most of the naturals products have been reduced on there so yeah definitely check them out and yes i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure you stay tuned for my next video which will be the pet room tour and yeah i'll sure see you very soon bye bye guys